Hey what's up guys welcome to another video in which we are going to write python program to generate a random number so guys we can easily use the random module that is inside the python programming language which will help us to generate a random number in the python programming language so let us understand this with the help of example now so over here in the vs code the very first thing that we have to do is we have to import the module that is random so we use the keyword import followed by space and then we have the library that is random over here so this random library is responsible in order to generate the random numbers in the python program so next time what we can do is we can simply use this random module over here followed by dot and then we have another function called rand int so as you can see when we start typing over here you are getting this rand int function which can be very much helpful in order to generate the random integers so when we use this this rand int function is expecting two parameters over here the first parameter is the minimum value and the second parameter is the maximum value so let's say we want to generate the random numbers between 1 to 10 so over here we will provide the minimum value as 1 and maximum value as 10 over here both these numbers are separated by a comma so as you can see we have a comma over here in between now what this will do is it will generate a random integer and then we can simply assign it to the variable that is number over here so we simply say number so this is the variable in which the random integer will be generated now what we can do is simply we can print this random number so over here with this label we will say random number generated and then followed by colon and then we can simply have number so over here open and close curly braces we will use the dot format function over here in order to print the number so we have dot format and inside this format we can simply provide number over here so basically this is going to print random number generated and then the value of that integer which is generated by this statement over here so let me just save this file now and try running this code so as you can see random number generated and then we are getting 4 in this case if we run this code once again we should get a different number as you can see we are getting 7 now we'll run this code once again we are getting 7 again and then we are getting 3 and then 1 and then 7 and then 6 and so on so any number you want to generate between any range you can get it by using this rand int inside the random module now guys it becomes very important when you are developing an application that needs throwing of a dice which will involve only the numbers between 1 to 6 so what we can do is over here we can simply say dice as the variable name and then the random integers that will be generated should be between 1 to 6 so over here minimum value will be 1 followed by comma and then we have the maximum value as 6 in this case and then we can simply change this label as number on dice so over here number on dice and then followed by open and close curly braces over here we need to change the variable name so instead of number we will say dice in this case so guys when you have the application that is related to throwing of a dice we can have this random module help us in order to generate the numbers between 1 to 6 so let me just save this file now and try running this code once again so as you can see number of dice it is coming as 4 and then once again when we run this we are getting 3 now and then one and then one again and then we are getting six and so on we can successfully use the random module in order to accomplish our task so guys basically this is one of the ways in which you can generate the random numbers in the python programming language apart from this this random module is also having many other functions that we can use based on our requirements so as you can see once we provide the random module followed by dot vs code is suggesting us many other functions that can be used based on our requirements so guys practice on your own so that on different inputs you get different outputs please make sure that you like this video so that it reaches to more people and subscribe to this channel so that you get the notifications on upcoming videos as well the next video that we are going to talk about is python program to convert kilometers to miles so stay tuned